Before I go to the gold face, I did want to show you very quickly. This is the Silver Series. This, this particular model is the N28S, 28428 inch speakers, okay? But I just wanted to show you real quick. Here's your auxiliary channel. It's got its own volume and tone. Then here's your main channel with full hookup on tone controls and uh, compression, the whole bit. This is a great one for the advanced student or for the teacher that needs to be able to plug two guys into one amp so that he can do his lessons, okay? These are the World Tour Series amplifiers. Now here's the deal, just real quick. The original EQ was a five band. You have bass and treble here, and then three bands of semi-parametric EQ where you can rotate the top knob and you can get to different frequencies, all the way from 30 hertz down at the very bottom over here. This guy rolled all the way up to the top is gonna to be 12 kilohertz and everything in between. This is the most musical EQ section in the industry. It's what everybody copies, okay? So when you see all those knobs on the other amps, this is what they're trying to get to, and nobody equals it. I tell David all the time that he designed the most musical EQ section in the industry, but then he designed the rest of the amplifier such that I don't need to use it, okay? Now later on, we went to a simplified EQ because that's what some people asked us for. We have a tube front end here for grit. Here we've got a solid state front end. But let me tell you how this is different. We use a special chip that's the same chip that the Neve and Harris consoles use. We're talking, you know, quarter of a million, $300,000 recording consoles, and we're using the same chip for the front end that they did. It's about 10 times more expensive than the chips that anybody else uses, and it's about 10 times warmer. Then we go with the simplified EQ, make it real easy to dial your tone in, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now, okay? Okay, you can see that what I did was I turned the gain, the compression, and the enhance totally off. Now I've got my EQ flat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll my gain up. See that red light flash? That's the clipping light. I don't want it to clip, so I'm gonna back a couple of clicks off. Okay, now I've got my perfect signal. I give myself a little volume now, and there's my basic dead flat tone. Now we got something really cool on here called the dynamic boost. It's gonna bring in my bottom end and my top end very clearly, check this out. up a little, bring my compression in, now I like elephant foot compression, I like it to really stomp, so I've got it to where it's going to work on just about any note, okay? about this one guys is that it's modular I've got up to 400 watts available out of this head at 4 ohms which means I can go with the combo speaker and one more and I got 400 watts in two 12s well actually I can add a third 12 and even a fourth 12 so you start out with just the combo it's good for rehearsals and lower volume gigs later on you pick up one extension cabinet now you've got more volume for the bigger gigs. You can go all the way to four. You'll have 600 watts going through four 12s. And let me tell you, it's loud enough that the volume police have been on me all weekend long here at NAMM. Now, 
We're gonna cut the cameras again. We're gonna go around the corner. I'm gonna show you the big boys.